Hi, my name is Eric Jackson. I'm a world champion kayaker. I'm 51 years old, founder of Jackson Kayak, and I love the outdoors. Now, if you're anything like me, the idea of making your own video, filming, editing, producing it, is something that just seems way, way too out there to actually accomplish on my own and prevented me from doing that for a long time. However, luckily being exposed to the folks at GoPro, I've been able to figure out how to do it and realize that it's actually quite easy. Today I'm going to share with you how you can make your own epic documentaries, like little mini documentaries of your own experiences out on the water. All right, there's a few things you need to know to start. Of course, number one, you need to have a GoPro camera. Cameras aren't that expensive anymore, and the latest ones are amazing. They have great battery life. They have incredible, incredible resolution. Pretty much everything you need to get the photos and the video you want to get in a kayak. All right, once you've got your GoPro camera, you're going to need a way to put it on the boat. The camera comes with a couple of mounts called sticky mounts, and you will see that the sticky mount allows you to mount the, the camera easily on the bow or stern of your kayak, as well as on your helmet, which is a very common position. Now, a few tips that you're going to get. One of them is going to be multiple mounting positions. We'll get that into that in a minute. You're also going to need to have an objective. An objective, what does that mean? If you go out and don't have any objective in advance or any idea of what you might um, hope to accomplish with your filming, when you get back, you're going to find that you're missing some key things. In fact, I'm going to turn it right over to uh, Zach, who's the GoPro Media House expert on making videos. Let's hear what he has to say about setting up the shots. I got Zach here. He's like the guru of video making at GoPro Media House. I mean, we're talking GoPro Media House the powerhouse that is transformed where videos are made that's right and we're talking that's about right. making kayak videos i bet you got some advice like if what are like some elements in a video zach that that should that really make a difference between an average video and an excellent video can you think of anything like mm, some key I can. elements yes i can i would say there are four key essentials four okay yeah i'll name them for you okay i think establishing shots are really important and what is an establishing shot? It could be anything from a time lapse to a wide of the area to um, just the environment. So like showing where you are kind of a thing? Yeah. Oh, cool. So let's show the environment. Let's show where you're at. Let's, okay. Let's um, introduce some characters. Uh-huh. Like um, let, let's ask them three questions. Who are you? Yep. Where are you at? Okay. And what's your purpose? Okay. Those are pretty, pretty simple, so. You've done this before. Hold on. This is a kayaker guy. You should go to Timmy to get some coffee for the drive. To where? There's Tim Hortons. Right it's there. a Canadian. I'll go over there. All right. Do I just turn around? Do you want to hop in the back or? I'll get the van. We have. It'll take five minutes. Can we just? Doesn't park that right French here? vanilla sound good for the drive? It does sound great. All right, let's do it. All right. Park right so he should have introduced himself as Dane Jackson kayaker, right? Yeah, that was Dane Jackson. Um, his purpose is coffee. Coffee. Or, or is it <laughs> kayaking? Um, so. You have, I've introduced the two. Yeah. We have environment and character. Okay. What do we need next? We need some action. Oh, We want to suck some people like in. Like the actual kayaking part. Yeah, yeah. We need some action here. So. Most people um, don't forget that part of Yeah, that's the easy one to get for most of you guys. And then we also want a conclusion, an ending. Okay. And what should that be like? Like, we had a good time um, here? Or what is it? It could like? be anything from an organic celebration with your friends. Like, hey, that was really awesome. We're high-fiving at the end. Oh, high fives Celebrating. Are uh, or it could be maybe I'm gonna set the camera up and I'm gonna run into it just so it goes to black or maybe I'm gonna throw the camera in the air and that'll be my ending like Whoa. I'll say like hey what's up had a really good time on the river today um, can't wait to get back out there and do it again and then you throw the camera up in there and it flips Sick. and then you're out yeah so those are the four essentials environment character action and conclusion awesome from the source Got it. Very cool. I'm going to put those in mind from now on. All right. Let's go kayaking. Thanks, man. <laughs> All right. Now that you know the four main elements that you're looking for in each video, let's talk about how to get them. I have a few easy go-tos that I really enjoy. Number one, I really like setting a camera up using this jaws mount, this thing right here, and on a gooseneck. So you, just, you can clip with this jaws mount, you can clip to a car, to a tailgate of a truck, to a fence, to a tree branch just about anything. With this jaws mount, you can set the camera up, you can put it on video, and you can easily get the loading of a car, you can get the um, pulling boats off of the car, you can get some cool driving shots, 
it's a great way to get the thing started and really set that uh, setting the stage shot that uh, Zach was talking about. You got any advice for uh, people out there that are gonna use a GoPro in their kayak for the first time? Like, like, well, if you've never used one before, um, what, any advice for them? Yeah, either lick it or splash water on the lens. Uh, that's and what's basic, that do? Man. Clears the lens, you know, so you get cleaner shots without, you know, a big drop that makes the image blurry. Uh, that is actually good information. Simple. Yeah, I, I knew Rafa Ortiz would deliver. All right, we're here with uh, world famous Rush Sturgis right here. And uh, Rush is known to make some epic GoPro kayaking uh, edits and get some amazing shots. You got any uh, any advice for a first time GoPro user getting a kayak shot? Uh, get creative, you know? get uh, different angles, try to switch it up. Uh, what these guys are doing right here is uh, pretty good stuff, I think. Um, we're that's good advice. You mean like, like, <laughs> look, we're going rapid. Oh, oh, uh, Dane Jackson, he's uh, preoccupied, but he's going to give us one tip on filming with GoPros for kayaking. Like, if you could give a beginner kayaker one tip, what would it be? <laughs> Buy a GoPro. Yeah, okay. Ah! These Good rapids, call. They look huge. You got another one? Ah, I don't know if I'm gonna make it. Ah! <laughs> we got world renowned Ben Brown from New Zealand here. And uh, you may have seen Ben in some epic GoPro commercials doing some awesome, uh, awesome filming. So we're doing a, a quick how to film with GoPro cameras for the first time beginner. You got any tips for like somebody who's never used one before? Uh, I think my number one tip when you get your brand new GoPro camera is to make sure your lens is clean Ooh. because there's nothing worse than getting home logging your footage and you've got a bit of dirt or gravel or whatever smudge on your lens so it sounds simple but that would be my uh, number one tip awesome ben brown all right next step we're going to talk about the action shots this is getting great whitewater footage that you're going to use um that you're going to use to to show off like what you just did the rapids the seal launches getting in and out of your boat all the fun stuff that goes in for an adventurous day there's uh, several things that are important number one you're going to want to mix up the mounts you know, with one camera you can get it all you don't need multiple cameras but if you have multiple cameras it can't hurt so step one make sure you get some face shots you're going to want to see yourself kayaking and your friends and family are going to want to see you actually kayaking if you just have a head cam they're not going to know it's you and it's not going to have that personal feel so with a headshot, I highly recommend using the Levitar mount. That gives you the best headshot because it gives you elevation. So it puts the camera almost in line with your face. It makes for an, a really nice shot. You can also use the gooseneck like we see right here. This gooseneck here works really well also for elevating. And that comes with the jaws mount. So if you buy the jaws mount, you'll have that gooseneck. The next one you're going to want to have is you're going to want to have some straight POV. You're going to want to have some head cam shots. Just one or two rapids, just seeing what you see will really bring it home to those people that are watching and have never been there. This is what you're seeing when you're going down the river. Great shot. Make sure you get that. The next you're going to want to have a stern shot. Now this is where the Levitar mount that Jackson Kayak provides is really helpful. So instead of looking down at your lower back, it gets you up at shoulder level and it like it's like you have a personal photographer following you down the river. Epic shot. Great shot. Now there's another one, this wrist shot. This is, can be used for really small pieces, like when you're moving your hand, it looks all kind of weird, but when you're just sitting there, uh, you're in an eddy, you're with your friends, you can get some great shots, some really good face shots, some friend shots, um, even some neat action shots. Uh, the wrist mount with the session camera is super sweet. It's a new mount for me, and I'm getting a lot of neat stuff that I'm really excited about. All right, so now you've got some great mounting options. When you're going down the river, the way you're going to switch it up, when you go to run a rapid, make sure you get a head cam shot. If you're going to run something um, and you know you're having a good time, smiling, make sure you get a couple shots from the bow. If you have a really big rapid and you want to really see the whole action, then you're going to use a stern mount. All right, now we've got footage. What do we do? Now we got to make a video. The easiest way to make a video, GoPro Studio. It, you can get it free online. Just go to GoPro.com, download the studio program really easy to dump the footage into there you're going to want to buy an external hard drive do not put it on your computer's hard drive because you'll fill it up so fast get an external hard drive for a hundred bucks you can get a, like a two terabyte hard drive that'll last you forever don't worry about it 
you're gonna put the, the footage on there and you're gonna categorize it by date. That way you'll remember, like five years from now, you're gonna remember that on September 13th, you were in the, in the canyon of the Bow River at the Put-In, running a river for the first time. So you're gonna put the date. So it's gonna be 9, 13, 15, that's today's date. Bow River, EJ. That's how I'm gonna categorize it. With the studio, just follow the easy online instructions and you'll be editing your first videos in no time. Literally from today, I'm gonna to edit a video and it's gonna take me 30 minutes to 60 minutes to have a really nice edited video using one of their templates. Super fun, looks professional. And what's gonna come out of this? This is the big thing. This is what you need to remember. This is a big deal. Five years from now, this river trip, I can go back and look on it on YouTube and unbelievable. I'm like, oh, I was there. Remember that? So fun. I was here with my son, Dane, my son-in-law, Nick. Amazing. I looked five years younger. How cool. I was paddling the Jackson Kayak Karma. Now we have the next generation, whatever, whatever. It's just a way to document your life in a really neat visual way that's super fun. You can share with friends and family forever. If you're not doing it, you're going to regret it later. So get on it. Get your GoPro camera. Start filming out of your kayak. Produce some stuff. Let me show, let me see it. I want to see what it looks like. It's going to be awesome. See you on the river. And if there's one thing I can leave you with, what is one of the real benefits of making videos of some of your trips? It takes a little bit of extra time. You see something you really like, you take a little time and get some video of it or some photos of it. And it's like stopping and smelling the roses. You spent more time in the environment that you are really fired up on. And then of course you've, uh, made it a permanent addition to your collection. So next time I'm looking at a video, I hope it's one of yours.